What's up everybody? We're in the backyard and I'm going to teach you how to cook an awesome tri-tip. I've got a great tri-tip here. I'm going to show you just how easy it is to do one. The first thing that you need to do anytime you're Traegerin, check your pellets. I'm a little bit low on pellets. Did a bunch of cooking already, so I'm going to go ahead and fill this up. I'm going to utilize what I have left of oak. Really when it comes to pellets, go with what you like. So I like what's open and the oak bag was open. So I'm gonna fill these pellets from there. Close your lid. You know you got enough pellets for the cook. That's always number one. You're gonna power this up. So we're gonna power that up. Traeger's cook kicking on. And this is gonna be such a simple recipe. I just say 275 and let it ride. That's my saying for a tri-tip. It's so easy and we're waiting for that internal temperature of 135. That's the number for me. If you like it a little bit more rare, you can go to that 130 number, but we're gonna go ahead and just set this grill right at 275. I push the button in and I'm hitting at night. And just like that, this Traeger is getting ready to start rocking. So I'm gonna take this tri-tip and we really only have four things that we need for this knocked and loaded coffee prime rib rub blackened saskatchewan rub and a little bit of olive oil before i season this i want to just show you this tri-tip and if you've never seen a tri-tip before this is such an underrated cut this is definitely one of my favorite cuts to have so make sure you look out for that tri-tip or order one but you can see here there's like a small little wing that's offset right here and you can see the grain of that right there when it comes to cutting that you're actually going to remove that and slice that a different way than the main piece here but this is an awesome cut all you have to do is season this with a little bit of olive oil on both sides you're going to rub that in both sides and when it comes to the different rubs, I like to put the coffee on last and the coffee gives this such an awesome bark. It's gonna give you that crust that everybody really likes. So that's the prime rib rub. Gonna go ahead, season that. Gonna go with the blackened Saskatchewan. This is an awesome peppery spice so good on cuts like this and then from there knocked and loaded this is the best coffee for this type of a cut it's going to give you an awesome bark and it actually kind of crystallizes gives you a little bit of a crunch on this but such amazing flavor so that grill is preheating right now behind me and this is something that you can do in a matter of a few minutes. You can go in, get the rest of your day done, or if you can, you know, come home early afternoon and get this rolling, you'll be able to monitor it from your Traeger app. And it's gonna be ready when you get home. So we've got that thing seasoned. I'm not even gonna wait for this grill to preheat because I know it's gonna happen. Gonna lay that on there just like that take your probe and just stick your probe right here in the hardiest part of that cut and close this lid up and from there you're going to be able to just monitor it on your app until you hit that internal temp of 135 it's definitely going to take several hours for that to happen if you need to cook it a little faster bring the temperature up a little more if you've got longer if you want to make this something that you start in the morning and want to have early afternoon or for lunch don't be afraid to put it at 225 and just put it on super smoke and just get even more smoke in there but this thing is totally ready to go we'll see you in a few hours and we'll show you just how awesome this cut is our tri-tip just hit internal temperature that we want but you can see just an awesome bark Look at the juices of that. Un freaking believable. So, I just turned the grill to the shutdown cycle. 
This is so important. If you're a Traeger person, going to that shutdown cycle, absolutely critical because it's so important for just extinguishing those pellets. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this amazing tri-tip right here. I'm gonna set it on some foil and I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna wrap it tight wrap it all the way up, seal it tight. And I put this in a small Yeti hopper. I try to find a size that's about right for what it is that I'm cooking. And for me, putting it in this for about 20 minutes, it's called resting. And this is something that I've learned to do with all kinds of cuts of meat. And what happens is, when we're cooking in that grill and there's heat on the outside of that, a lot of those juices go to the inside. And even though the outside's moist from the smoke, when you remove it, if you let it rest, then those juices redistribute all the way out through that entire cut. And they'll actually start to sweat out of that cut. And you're gonna have those awesome juices that you can have in that foil for a pour over at the final serving. I'll show you just how awesome it is, but I'm telling you, the Yetis for resting are just the perfect tool. It completely changes the game. So we've got 20 minutes now. If you have vegetables to do, now's the perfect time. If you have plating to do, if you wanna call the family, now's the time. We're gonna use this 20 minutes before we slice and serve. All right, we've let our tri-tip rest, and I'm gonna show you how amazing this is. I mean, what a perfect, perfect tri-tip right there. That is absolutely awesome. Uh, just to give you a quick look, if you lay this out with the thicker end, tapering down to that thinner end just like that, what you're gonna wanna do to cut this is you're gonna wanna start from the point and cut down to the center just like that and from there this long end you're going to cut against the grain just like this and then here on the end you're actually going to cut the opposite direction just like this but man what a perfect perfect tri-tip this is absolutely perfect got an awesome bark on there from the knocked and loaded it's gonna have all those awesome spices from the prime rib rub but you can see here this is just an absolutely beautiful beautiful tri-tip and it I mean this is almost like a, a miniature prime rib this is one of my favorite cuts one of my favorite meals to have and the juices of this thing are absolutely perfect. So easy to cook. And uh, if you wanna have the best cut of meat, done easy, make sure you try this tri-tip recipe.